kind of performance the last couple of days. on the baseline, tops it, sent it back over emphatically. The gap reduced to eight. Shannon Thompson's tally increased to 11. Trinidad, we've not seen too many of those. Shanae Jack getting up on the far side to give their fans something to cheer. It's just their second point of a stuff block in the match. And remember, the player jumping here and outside is here. Okay, then. You are from. Look at the distance. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ten point lead cut down to seven. A timeout called by the coach Shanghai Wan to try and help Korea see it through for a two set to love lead. Twelve appearances at these World Championships for Korea. The first time ever they've started with four straight defeats. How badly they want to put that bad run to an end. John Gare Park with power down the pipe again. Up to 15 now to lead all scorers. She's again on the far side, fielded in the backcourt. Taps in to flex up off Ayohili. Out over. Thompson will come again, but can only fire into the net. And Korea, thanks to that brilliant backcourt defense, are up by nine and only four points away. Back to back points off the back of their timeout. from Ramdin, who's certainly enjoying her last performance at the World Championships. enough to baffle the defense. Korea only three points away from taking the second set now. One, two. Quick reactions from Trinidad, not quick enough. So from the impressive Huali into the net. Eight points for the 18-year-old after only five across the first four matches. She goes to the bench. So too does Kelly Ambalinji. Renel Ford, the captain, comes in to serve for Trinidad.
John Gower Park to the back corner with power. She has been a consistent threat throughout. 16 points now. 20.5 is her average through the tournament. Beaten on the block that time. And Shannon Thompson tipped it over the top. Shannon Thompson with 12 points is already above her average of 11.8. Trinidad's leading scorer on serve now. Rattling the top of the net. John Gap Park gets it to go and extends her tally once more. 17 now across the first two sets. And it brings Korea nine set points. She really has got back in business. John Gap Park only converted 14 out of 61 spike attempts yesterday for 23% efficiency. Been efficiency personified so far here today. The serve off the mark means Korea will have to wait. Ayo Lee back in. The place of Ho Young Jung, the 17 year old who came in just for that one point. That will do it. As was the case in set one, Yong Kowon captain finishes off set two. Captain Courageous puts career up by two sets to love. He took the first with a bit of a struggle, 26-24, having to save a Trinidad set point, but they take the second far more comfortably by nine points in the end, 25-16, and now one set a win from that one set away, I beg your pardon, from their first win at these World Championships. For the World Championships more than Korea, their 12th appearance in this uh, prestigious competition. Not the way they would want it to end here at the first stage, but at least they're going to go out on a high as it stands. No such luck for their team. Still just one set won from Trinidad and Tobago across this whole campaign. It's the second time their team have won two sets of course they lost in five to Thailand which was at the start of their downfall on opening night now they'll try and win a third set for the first time at these championships and that would see them finish fifth in pool C they're 
also looking to end a six-game losing streak, stretching back to 2010 at the World Championships. They concede the first point of set three. It was a really good start to set two for Korea, going in at the technical timeout at by four points, eight to four. Trinidad and Tobago know they need to start better here in this must-win set, and they have them for now. Joust to the net, the rally goes on, tipped over the top for two. Trinidad have responded. Triple block. Korea's top scorer stopped down the pipe. That might be the first time that she's been stuffed on. It was the left hand of Sinead Jack. Just about kept alive off the disappointing serve reception. Chance for Randy now to waterfall down inside the block. Trinidad and Tobago taking charge at the start of the third. It's the 18-year-old Ali wasn't tight enough to the net. Stop the run, and it's to Ali who responds. Korea <laughs> Bong can't put together back to back points in this set, though. Really disappointing start. Certainly uncharacteristic of uh, what we've seen over the first two sets. John Gapart just about getting it to go off the tip as Trinidad tip it out of bounds. Serve reception as well, so Korea given some encouragement. Three aces now through Ali. And she goes again to try and provide another. Too long that time. Trinidad and Tobago by three. Off the top of the block, there's a fault here. It's going to be a career point, it would have been anyway. We're now Ford seeing her elbow catch the net. Esdor squeezing one home, and Trinidad and Tobago keeping up their little bit of breathing room. One point away from the technical timeout now. <laughs> and the ace takes them there. 
This was the score the other way around at the technical timeout in set two. Now it's Trinidad who have the lead and a platform from which to build. They will continue to cheer on their team for as long as they possibly can. They're hoping they'll get a fourth set. Those Trinidad and Tobago fans for just the second time across the five matches. They're giving themselves a chance, leading by four as we come back off the first technical timeout in set three. Still a long way to go in this third set. Plenty of time for Korea to come back. Well, the run goes on and on and on. A captain's ace from Renel Ford. One before the technical timeout and one straight after it. The timeout called by Korea. for Renelle Ford now with all of them on serve. She was the player unable to field that last one. Jai Young Lee. Renelle Ford might be aiming for her again. Let's see. Oh, Ran Kim gets in the way. Up to the near side, John Gao Park, dug out by Alton. Thompson to tip it. Across to John Gao Park again. Alton is there again behind it on defense. Shannon Thompson against the block. Somehow kept alive, but not for too much longer. Boy, did Career have to work to try and get that point on the board. Alton first to everything. Finally beaten by the ricochet. Serve floats wide of the mark from John Gap Park. Korea need to improve a little more. Down by five again. Well, that was a wonderful serve from Shannon Thompson just to force the defense back. And from there, the Korean offense was easily intercepted. Trinidad knew exactly what they were going to do. with similar power but not similar precision on the next one <laughs> yet another point for the impressive Darlene Ramdin she's up to 13 now She's on course perhaps to score as many here today as she has in the previous four matches at these championships. One back from Korea from Ua Lee, who's already scored more today than in the previous four. Only five points across 
the first four matches for the teenager. The official stats have her with nine here today, but I think she's unfortunate not to have been credited with at least a couple more. Five points the deficit for Korea again. Now Yon Lee in to serve. What a big return from Jack. The set right on top of the net. Jack could have missed from there, but she made sure it stuck. Gets it out on the near side. One on one block. Trinidad have to help it over with emphasis from Estel. And tipped cheekily in the end by Yonko on Kim. She's been nowhere to be seen in terms of scoring in this third set, the Korean captain. Not until that moment. They need her to step up now. Rather than stepping up, she's going to go to the bench. Ji Young Ho comes in. Forward to tip it, and to help it up. Five points the gap between these two. Ramden again. Found the line with an airing accuracy. Everything she hits turns to points. John Park squeezes one through. Past the block and the backcourt defence. Five points the gap again, but Korea at some stage need to go on a run. They have Huali on serve now. She's already scored three aces. They could do with the 18-year-olds continuing that fine form on serve. And there's another one. Just what Korea needed. Four points the gap for their team to try and overcome now. Double figures for Huali. Set on top of the net for the emphatic finish from Jack. No chance of building momentum on serve for Lee that time. Trinidad and Tobago one point away from the technical timeout. Okay. Really good serve, equally as well dug out. John Gapar attacked it quickly to go off the top of the block. Beyond the backcourt defence and Paul Career within four. She's up to 22 points now, Juon Gap Park. Only two players in the tournament have scored more. Up to live here in the back court. Out up towards Juon Gap Park again. They can set right on the net. This time, Jalicia Ross puts the finishing touch on it with the right hand. Trinidad into the technical timeout with a five point lead, 16-11. So close to winning just their second set ever at these championships.
Okay, here we go. Hey, two or three. Darlene Randin and Shannon Thompson leading the way for Trinidad with 13 points each, but it's been a real team effort here in set three. As you know, Jack is up to nine points for them. Estel has four. Renal Ford, the captain, has three aces. A couple of them in the run that opened up the gap for Trinidad and Tobago here in set three. Jalicia Ross with three points. The last one gave Trinidad a five-point lead. Trungar <laughs> Park over the top, down the line, but didn't find the line. And it looks as though there's every chance we are heading to a fourth set. They're still eight points away, Trinidad, but they lead by six. It's a long way back for Korea from here, and they know it, look. John Gap Park stopped by Alton. Comes back high above the net. Kept alive, Korea wanted the fault. And instead, Trinidad and Tobago get the finish. Estel hammers it down the line. We are going to have a look at the video, though. A challenge requested from the Korean bench. But they are going to spark some kind of a comeback. Well, this is a big call for them. It's about communicating what they're looking for here now. The challenge, I think, is for a net touch. So during the you should declare. First referee having a word with the official Jongia Park. And it is going to be a Trinidad and Tobago point. Disappointment for Korea. They're down by seven now. Trinidad and Tobago only seven away. Suji Kim finding a way through for the first time in a while. John Gap Park will serve next, Korea's leading scorer. Ji Yun Rock comes in. They keep finding a way to force their way through. Crystal Estel with the left hand slicing across court off the block. It's another cut to Korea. Shannon Thompson with a tremendous serve. What an ace from the number three. Watched and whacked back to the baseline. Trinidad in charge. We need to, we need to block uh, and select in the block, look for the ball, look for the ball, open the the finger and look for the ball over there. Hey, because anytime you, you do it that, it is the army. Anytime they are in front of the. Trinidad only five points away now from taking just their second ever set at the World Championships. And Shannon Thompson has had a huge say, 14 points now, including an ace on that last one to force the career timeout. They lead by eight, Trinidad, and she will serve again. This time can only find the net. certainly won't be celebrating anything this early. Ram 
defending to rock the defence. Yonkorn Kim has to help it over and helped it over for the score, a miscommunication on the Trinidad side of the floor. She did not expect a score from that one. It should have been a chance for Trinidad to get on top on the rally. Instead, they concede the point. As Doyle found a way through with the left hand. Just to put that disappointment of the previous point behind them. Four more points required for Trinidad and Tobago. The one set that they have won. Out of 14 at these championships came against Thailand, losing 3-1. They won that. Single set 25 23, Trinidad and Tobago. So, this really is uncharted territory for them, leading by six. And somehow they get the point off that serve reception. Korea look crushed. Everything falling for Trinidad right now. That really should have been a chance for Korea to get on top in the rally. Hiran <laughs> <laughs> Kim to help it overhead. Draw to the backcourt for the score by Yong Koon Kim. Korea will fight to get as close as they possibly can to try and apply some pressure to Trinidad. They still have a sizable gap though in their favor. Six points now the lead. And Trinidad and Tobago need just three more points. They're still from the three meter line, stopped in the back by Yong Kong Kim. John Gaphart found a way through. Back within five. A little bit of pressure starting to build on Trinidad and their coach will call a timeout to try and alleviate that pressure. Can they see this one through? John Gapart taking her tally to 23 for the match as Korea closed the gap down to five. Will they run go on here on serve? Oh, the block just wide of the line, fine margins. But now a fine opportunity for Trinidad and Tobago to secure this second set, this third set rather, as it comes off the number two. She just didn't penetrate enough. Ruali. That one finds a way through as Lee responds. Trinidad in Tobago had one set point in set one. Can they force what would be six set points here in set three? No, they can't. Accepting the gift above the net was Suji Kim after the shank serve reception. Nu Ali, one of Korea's better servers, remains on the baseline. Too long from Thompson. 
and Korea are creeping up towards Trinidad and Tobago. They're back within three. And Trinidad call a timeout with the wind in the Korean sails. We, anytime there is a uh, up, because or anytime it's hard, hard, hard. It is, we need to lose uh, the ball, but uh, there is a, uh, you have a block, everybody have a block. They are blocked to everybody. You call the block, hard. Okay, we need to one pass. Okay. Go, go, go. Trinidad, the only one of the 24 teams here at the finals in Japan, making its competition debut. They're trying to stay in with a chance of winning their first match at these championships. They need to win this set. Yeah. Yeah, back with it too. Again, it's Huali on serve. Remarkable run from the teenager. 13 points for her now. Little to no room for error. The set to John Gappard to drain one at the feet of the defense. Korea back within one. What a time to go on this kind of a run. They trailed by seven points at 2013. <laughs> Shannon Thompson rejected, kept alive by Alton on her knees. Thompson helps it up into the lights. Korea to steady the ship. John Gapong to try and tie in does the Korean comeback complete. They have clawed it back from seven down. 23-23. A remarkable run on the serve of the 18-year-old Du Ali. Now, can she help get them ahead? Who's going to have the set point here in set three? It's Korea! Korean Seoul coming to the forefront down the stretch. A big time block as Suji Kim combines with Jai Young Lee. Match point, Korea. Seven down in set three. Korea win it in straight sets to end a run of six straight defeats at the World Championships, stretching all the way back to 2010. John Gampart, the leading scorer. But the run on serve from the 18-year-old Ua Lee down the stretch did the damage. A double-figure performance from her. Trinidad and Tobago have to accept five defeats from five and only one set won on their World Championships debut. It's the end of the line for both teams here, but Korea at least go out with a win. And what a way to finish. It will make the flight home a little easier to digest as they contemplate ultimately a disappointing campaign after making their way back to the World Championships for the first time since 2010.